Civilizational design question. Is it wise for humanity to broadcast our existence to the rest of the universe? One of the really cool and unsettling arguments against this idea is called the dark forest hypothesis. But to talk about that, I first got to talk about the Fermi paradox. In 1950, a physicist named Enrico Fermi was discussing with his peers how likely it was that aliens existed. Spoiler alert, they said it was very high. And he asked in response, well, where is everybody? There are many explanations for this paradox, including that we are too early, that life is too rare, and that civilizations never really get past the blowing each other up phase. The dark forest hypothesis is a little more unsettling. According to Chinese science fiction writer Leo Tzu-Shin, all life strives to exist and to outlive their star, and they want to expand into a universe with limited resources. And this increases the likelihood of conflict with other civilizations that need those same resources. This book suggests that all intelligent life is left with the same safest course of action. Wipe out any other life forms before they can do the same thing to you. And any civilizations that are dumb enough to broadcast their existence to the rest of the universe are going to get snuffed out really fast, probably before they're really noticeable on a grand scale. Su Xin puts it like this. The universe is a dark forest. Every civilization is an armed hunter stalking through the trees like a ghost. The hunter has to be careful because everywhere in the forest are stealthy hunters like him. If he finds other life, there's only one thing he can do. Open fire and eliminate them. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think about this theory and whether a silent and stealthy civilization is better than one that broadcasts its existence to the rest of the universe.